way we could use it for good is if you had your students, you said, hey guys, you're gonna write 500 word essay on the influence of the Norman invasion on the English language. Please do not use ChatGPT. I would love for you to do this and you are getting a grade, but don't worry, we're gonna use ChatGPT later to help improve your writing and learn even more. But for this part, I don't want you to do it. Hopefully they don't. They come in, they submit that assignment. You say, okay, excellent. Thank you, everybody submitted that. I promised you that's not your full grade because I wanna make those papers even better. So what you could do, is you could go in and say, check the following research paper and identify five ways to improve it. From this, we don't want high school, we want college professor. So I can go and give my class that prompt. And you can get specific. You can give it a rubric. You can give it specific things you want it to look for based on what you care about. Because any English, y'all are the English teacher table, right? English teacher table. I love literature. I love reading. I love all the stuff that comes with it. I would never want to be an English teacher because I don't want to read four billion essays for four billion hours, okay? That seems exhausting, all right? Now, should you still read them? Probably. But wouldn't you want to read the best version where your students went back and, like, because ideally you could read it, give them, like, tips on it, and then they go back and fix it and send it again, right? 